I know getting married? Why can't I find a wife? Why can't you find a wife? My best friend, Glenn. Need I remind you of your behavior last night? What, at the wedding? I thought I was the man-child in this apartment. Difficult, sloppy, insecure. But last night you achieved the impossible. You made me look mature. I guess I have been acting out a bit, huh? Oh, a bit. You ate salmon with your bare hands. You hit on Rabbi Linda. The rabbi? You asked the flower girl if she wanted to get stoned. They oh, were deeply God. disgusting. You broke every rule, perpetually lusting, so middle school. Went after a girl who belongs in a shul. I really hit on Rabbi Linda? You took her hand and did the horror, cop to feel by the Torah. Ouch. Weaving and thrusting, the room was your prey. Maybe it was a sordid display. Tackling the bridesmaid who caught the bouquet. We all agree. You hit your stride when you groped the mother of the bride. Oh, God. But this was the year of the wedding. I know. Twelve months to forget. You bet. Another tux to try, another toaster to buy, another evening of regret. All those impossible weddings were anything but fun. Those days are gone. I'm moving on. Thank God they're done. All right, Glenn, I've had my year of acting like a jerk, but I'm officially ready to crawl out of the abyss. And guess what? Good news, I have no more single friends, which means no more weddings. Not so fast, dude. Slammed in the face, kicked hard in the shins, but now is the time life truly begins. This time around, the goofy guy wins. Hold that thought, don't exhale till you see what came in the mail. Goodbye to the year of the weddings. I gave all I could give. Gonna clean up my act, gonna make me a pact to get off my butt and live. Henry, I got, got through, through the year of the wedding. Prayed that it would pass. Life's been bleak, a losing streak since. Oh God, don't go there. Since Sheila. Henry, stop. Since Sheila dumped my sorry ass. Sheila, funny you brought her up. Here. What, she's getting married? In three months, she invited me? It would appear so. To Mr. Thor Arnold Rosenbaum, the Google guy? Yep. But she was supposed to marry me. Hi, Henry. Oh, no, Henry, stop it. Shut up, it's my fantasy. Sheila, my best friend and my best lover. Sheila, Sheila, you were the perfect blend. Sheila, the decaf to my cream. Oh, wasp goddess of my dreams. In your sandals from land's end. Oh, Henry, I still love you. Sort of. How could you do it? How could you dump me for a guy named Thor? Well, he's rich and handsome and funny and an absolute animal in the- Sheila, five long years together and now it's stormy weather. I hope you and your millionaire geek boy run in hell. So I take it you're not going? Of course I'm going. <laughs> Look what it says here, Henry Mann and guest. Don't you see what this is, Glenn? This is personal. Sheila's calling me out. So my guest can't be just anyone. No, 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 she's gotta be the soul matiest soulmate in the world. Here, write this down. Beautifully refined. Like Sheila? But in an artsy downtown way. Okay, artsy. A bohemian who's sexy, but rarely crude. Who reads James Joyce while doing stretches in the nude. Oh, yes. That is the girl I will marry. Oh, God. Yes, yeah, spiritual too. Earnest, fun, and kind. Elegant, sipping Chardonnay. We'll have sex once a day, sparing no taboo. 
once, no? Four times will do. Oh, that is the girl I will marry. A refined, artsy, bohemian, earnest, sweet, sexy, smart, spiritual, best friend, nurturing, sophisticated, elegant lady. Christ, Henry, you're never gonna find all those qualities in one single woman. You are the pickiest son of a bitch in the world. Not picky, discerning. Okay, Picky, but come on, I'm trying. You gotta help me out, Glenn. Look, I've been disgusting, but those days are through. I'll find someone trusting, someone that's true. My march to the altar is long overdue. Someone I can love and cherish till death do us part, but at the same time, someone I can shove down Sheila's throat. All right, wait, wait, wait. Look, not to get your hopes up, but I actually met someone at Starbucks you might like. I can't marry a girl you met at Starbucks? Sure you can. Her name is Tamar. I told her all about you. She's cute, too. And get this. She thinks Rubber Soul is the Beatles' best album. Now, she sounds interesting. Tamar. Henry. Mrs. Tamar. Oh, Henry, one step at a time. I'll make this the year of my wedding. A wedding of my own. I hang by a thread cause I'm desperate to wed Hey, what fun is life alone? Oh yes, it's the year of your wedding Yeah, that much is true Let bells chime, it's my time Hello? Oh, Tamar, this is Henry Mann Right, Glenn's friend So listen, I was just wondering if... What's that? Do I want to go out Friday night? I do.